Hello and welcome to Command of the Sea. My name is Jürgen and today I would like to show you some slow motion recordings of a 28cm or 11 inches if you prefer the Imperial system shell hitting and ricocheting of Tirpitz turret Anton. As usual I'd have to mention here that we are in an early stage of development. So you will see some unfinished and non-working stuff. Please have some mercy with us. On the other hand, everything you will see in this video is actual in-game footage, so there are no pre-rendered sequences, I'm just recording the plain gameplay. Right now it's 6.30 in the morning on April 9th, 1940. We are, or better said, this scenery is located in southern Norway, in the Oslo field. In the background you can see the Oskarsborg fortress and a small rocky island with the trees. So now let's move a bit closer and take a look at the initial impact of the projectile without any slow motion. For this scenery we are using a shell from an old Krupp naval gun which was designed in 1891 and is still in use in Oskarsborg in 1940. But due to its old design it's very unlikely that it could inflict any serious damage to a modern 1940 battleship. As you can see the 28cm shell isn't able to break through the 180mm top armor or the 240mm side armor of the turrets. For the slow motion take we've removed all smoke and particle effects to make the impact area itself more visible. As you can see the projectile is ricocheting off the top of turret Anton and tumbling right into the side armor of turret Bruno. If you watch the impact point on turret Bruno closely you will also recognize the glowing metal in the center which quickly starts cooling down right after the impact. We've shown you a few different retakes of this scene from various angels and distances. And if you watch and listen closely you will realize that there's a slight delay between the flash of the impact and the actual sound, especially with increasing distance. That's not due to our poor recording skills, but due to the fact that the speed of sound is a lot slower than light speed. It's pretty much the same effect you witness when you watch a distant thunderstorm. In this last take we are almost 9 km away from Kit Tirpitz, so the sound will take about 26 seconds to reach us. As you hear due to the distance, it sounds more like a rolling thunder. So well, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day or evening. Bye!